Well, how wow. did it go? Did he put a baby in you yet? Ah! What? Oh, Guys, have you ever wondered what it's like to be the only man in an entire town or city? Kinda hot. Anthony, seriously? This is not how that works out. Imagine if he was- Sounds like an anime, actually. <laughs> actually, yeah, it does I think actually. there is anime that is, that is like that. Yeah, that's every anime, Anthony. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Today, guys, we're gonna look at this one dude who tells a true story of how he is the only man in town. Like, the only man in town. I don't know who Harem is, but that fool. That fool <laughs> hard. Was it? I don't know who Harem is, but that fool is hard. That fool is hella hard. He's like in a lot of animes that I watch. So, I came across this animated story, and it sounded true, but it's also super ridiculous. So, we're gonna take a look at it today, because we're gonna get to experience through this guy's eyes what it's like to be the only man in town and live in, be in a Real life anime. That's your dream, Anthony. I'm Harem. All right, let's just get into the video, guys. I was the only boy born into a girl's village after 20 years. When you're the first boy to be born into a village chock block full of girls after 20 years. <laughs> yo, yo, what, what, what? Why are you laughing already? Why are you laughing? Are you already? sure there's not an anime story? <laughs> oh my god. Yo, key, I can write that All down. All you guys the story. out there are probably thinking it must be like winning the lottery. Girls <laughs> yeah. flocking to your feet everywhere. Yeah. It kind of was like that at first, but then things just got weird. Okay, so I live in- Yeah, weird. <laughs> oh my, stop, dude. You gotta stop, bro. How weird. I've been giving birth to only girls for the past 20 years. We aren't really sure why, but my village believes that they got cursed from a witch that they kicked out a long time ago. But if you ask me, I think God is the one punishing us for kicking her out. On top of all that, people in my village are not allowed to marry people from the outside. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. So if there's no men in the town, how are there kids? No, there's men, <laughs> but like in his generation, there was only boys, I mean girls. So apparently from the stories that back then, uh, they banished the witch and apparently the witch like cursed them where most of the town can only have girls. So like, does he have to repopulate his entire town? I want to hear this anime story for myself. <laughs> To the end. <laughs> Realized I was a boy, they quickly wrapped me up in a blanket and kept my gender a secret. They told everyone I was a girl. That is the anime. <laughs> this is a anime story. That's is 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 how I say I watched it. Dude, you would have watched it. Dude, I would watch this just because the plot is so interesting. Imagine being the only boy in town, so they have to hide your gender and you have to dress up as a girl every day. Cool. Well, he has to go in the girls' locker room for pee. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, that's awkward. Well, acts like there's a boys' locker room. Fact, yeah, but. I was a boy, and my name was Jared. A little bit weird, right? But my parents had no other option. They knew that people would freak out if they found out I was a boy. No wow. one in our village had given birth to a boy in more than 20 years. Alright, 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 alright. In 20 years, there's only 90, like 100 people born, though. Yeah, okay, so these statistics aren't really adding up. And if they were only giving birth to girls, are they are they having sex with, like, grandpas or something to repopulate? Think about it for a minute. Oh, it's at 20, so, like, now, like, the kids are born, they're now 20 years old. And my parents didn't no, want but, me like, to get so much No, there was attention. no boys born. They just wanted me to live a normal life. Except it wasn't normal. No, so let's say 21 years ago, there was a boy. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. There was boys 21 years ago, yeah, just okay. starting 20 years ago. Oh. There was only girls. Okay, okay, that, ma that makes more sense. Thinking back, at the time, I was none the wiser. Wait, is that I him? Why is he still- yeah. Homie, you're at home. You don't have to wear the- He's wearing the dress dressing thing at home. He's a Yo, stop stopping that. <laughs> oh my god, this one's- Jackie. I mean, I didn't even know I was called Jared. Well, that what? was until I was five years old. I was playing in our backyard when a woman appeared on the other side of the wall. She was dangling some candy in front of my face, and like a little puppy dog, I followed her. I kept looking back, expecting my parents to come running out to get me, but they were nowhere to be seen. The woman asked me to get into Wait, wait, car. wait, you get kidnapped? Yo, what is happening right now? This is the strangest story I've ever been. What are you, what are you talking about? I already, I already know there's gonna be a twist. Watch, watch this twist. She knows it's a boy. And if I was a good boy, she'd give me more candy. Wait, good boy? I even think twice. <laughs> My parents never let me eat candy, but then I realized she'd said good boy, and I turned to her and told her I was a girl. I'll never forget the way she threw her head back and let out a chuckle. She looked at me and said, sure, pumpkin, and I'm the president of the United States. Holy oh, shit, look, Obama a kidnapped the child? I fell for it and looked. <laughs> and the next moment, she lifted up my dress and said, All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's a boy, so it's fine. No, it's, dude, it's not okay. It's a wait, grown- Wait, wait what'd she say? She lifted up my dress and said, See, you're a boy, you little freak. I didn't understand what she was talking about. And then she explained that I was a boy and that my parents had been lying to me. Then she said the village mayor was offering a reward to the first woman to give birth to a son. 
and seeing as my parents were keeping me a secret, she'd hand me over and collect the reward money herself. I was too young to fully understand, but I knew I was in serious trouble. I started screaming and thrashing my arms. Wait, why did you get in the car in the first place? Her drive faster. I have no idea why I did what I did next, but suddenly I jumped onto her knee. She couldn't see where she was going, and that's when we crashed. We could have died, but I didn't care. At that moment, all I wanted was to get away from that horrible woman. And it was my lucky day, because all that happened was her car got a bit crushed, but I escaped without even a scratch. I started the running scratches. back towards our village, and she was chasing what is, me. Yo, yeah, was yo, what is this story, my guys? Suddenly drove by, and my Why are there banana cars? Well, there was nothing that woman could do. She was well and truly caught now. Turns out she'd escaped from a nearby psychiatric clinic, and they came and picked her up promptly. My parents had no other choice. They had to tell the mayor and everyone else that I was actually a boy and that my name was Jared. But I like being Jackie, I told them. All right. <laughs> All right. What? I like being called Jackie. Anthony, why are you living out your fantasies in this story? Shit. <laughs> girls, I have not complained. He switched my dresses for shorts and t-shirts. I felt strange. All right, what the no fuck? Want to be what my the friend anymore. Fool, cut your hair first. Been <laughs> All of a sudden, every girl wanted to be my friend. I was the center of attention. Anthony, Honestly, Anthony, stop. Stop. Much. Stop. 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 Well, oh, you've been stop. stopping this shit <laughs> too much. I want to hear. Suddenly, I had girls hanging off me, wanting to play with me all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Zoom into his face. The older I got, the more intense <laughs> I got. The older he got, what? At 12, the village mayor started a new tradition. From now on, every year on my birthday, I'd sit on a throne for the whole day. And all the women who wanted to conceive baby boys would come and bow. All right, what? One by what? One, what, is, what is? What is this? What is this? What is? So what is much. this? But the mayor told me he'd buy me a special gift if I did this one thing for the village. One time, though, it was taken too far. One woman wouldn't stop kissing my toes, and suddenly I felt a sharp pain shooting through my body. She'd gotten so carried away, she'd actually bitten down. I was even bleeding. Dang, After show them I toes. It was just some stupid ritual that the village Anthony, thought stop. would Anthony, stop. Stop living on your fantasy. Hey, show them stop. those. Stop. Stop. I was still the only boy. When I turned 18, I decided the only way to handle all the attention was to just embrace it. There was yeah. one girl, Sammy, who was actually pretty cute. And after she basically begged and stalked me for weeks, I agreed to be her boyfriend. <laughs> of course, all the other girls were jealous, and I was worried I was about to start World War III. <laughs> Looks like Sammy won. What are you gonna say, bro? What are you gonna say? Oh, don't you mean World War IV? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't. Her parents were out, so we started making out. She was Yo, really Anthony, high. calm down. She Where are all the other sure girls? They'd only be home much later, but suddenly we heard the door. <laughs> I leapt behind the sofa half-dressed. Well, they would've liked it. things went horribly wrong. Well, how wow. did it go? Did he put a baby in you yet? Ah, yes. What? Yes. You can sit around. Give us a grandson already. I couldn't believe it. She'd been using me. I stood up Bruh. and gave her parents the biggest fight. Then I turned to Sammy and said, Screw you. I hope it's a girl you have. <laughs> then I grabbed my clothes and walked out. I never wanted to see her again. But then Weirdo. later she fell off the stairs and had a miscarriage. To everyone's shock, Sammy was actually pregnant with a baby boy. After that, the whole village knew about it and made them go even crazier. Women lined up outside my house. Anthony, stop. They stop. lined up? Stop. Yeah. Stop. Anthony, stop. <laughs> they lined up. They lined up. They even put security to watch me. But then I was like, screw it. After the way Sammy used me, I decided to get revenge by dating as many girls as possible. Girls were basically falling at my feet. Well, guys around stop, the Anthony. Just stop. This, is, this is Anthony's fantasy attention. right here. So I dated a whole bunch of them at the same time. Yo, yo, how did you know? How did you know? You called in the beginning. How did you know, Anthony? Shit. How did you know? Two mice stick alike. How did you know? Food, gave me massages, and I got all kinds of gifts daily. Bad. I mean, we all know how much fun a guy like me can have with girls. They were just so hot and amazing. And the best part, I didn't have to work for it. But there was so much expectation. <laughs> they all wanted sons. I wasn't ready to be a father. Babies were so not my thing. I tried to talk to my mom about it, but suddenly she started crying. I told her I wasn't interested in <coughs> hearing about how much she wanted a grandson again. But then she took me by surprise. She told me she was sick, and that she didn't have much time left, and that she only wanted me to be happy. 
Oh, I thought he was about to so say go guilty. pump a bunch of girls full was of babies. <laughs> Yo, stop! Why are you smiling? Why are you smiling, bro? Why are you smiling? So keep going. I don't want to know more. After our conversation, I asked Amy, who lived next door to us, if she wanted to be my girlfriend. I made her swear to keep it secret so that the other girls didn't get jealous. I felt like time was against Bet. us. Mom kept getting more sick, and Amy and I were having no luck getting pregnant. Then I thought, what if I had another girlfriend too? I don't know if it was the thought of losing my mom and not giving her what she wanted, or if I was actually going insane or something. But I asked Leanne, who lived at the end of the village, if she'd like to be my girlfriend too. Yo, you're enjoying this story way too much. Look, look at his face. Look at his face. Look at my fantasy. What can I say? <laughs> I'm just imagining myself in issues. Dude, this is a real life anime. On the same day, they both called me and told me they were pregnant. Bet. Amy was a strict Catholic and said her parents would kill her if we didn't get married. So I married her at home and we had a quiet little ceremony. But then, Leanne told her dad she was pregnant and he threatened to beat my ass if I didn't marry his daughter. I knew I didn't have a choice, but was it even legal? Two wives? But no one would need to know. This all happened in the Yo, same week. Yo, what is happening? Dude, this guy's life is a movie. Why don't you make a movie out of this? This is great. So I spent the daytime with Leanne. Then every night, I'd go home and stay with Amy. Can you believe I didn't get caught? My parents knew about Amy, but I just prayed they didn't find out about Leanne. Listen, I wasn't happy about it. In fact, I didn't feel anything for these girls, and I was sure it would get out at some point. And it did, because both of them gave birth to boys. I was there for Amy's, and had to rush over to Leanne's to make her birth too. And the mayor held another stupid ceremony. Well, there was no way I could go. Everyone would find out. I packed a small bag and gave my mom a kiss goodbye, and then I took my dad's old bicycle and cycled out of the village as far as I could. I rented a small room at a cheap motel. But then every social media platform reported me missing. The whole village was looking for me. I tried to disguise myself as someone else, and I started working at a grocery store nearby. A long time passed and no one found me. I started having male friends my age, which was pretty cool. But to be completely honest, I also missed my family. I was scared of what they'd do if I went back to see them, so I never did. Until one day, after a whole year passed, I heard a knock on the door. It was the motel manager standing there with my two wives, and he said, These women are looking for you. I wanted to run, but I saw that they were <laughs> this is good. Oh, no, no, Anthony, no, they have their babies with them. We want you back. We don't care that you're married to both of us, but if it's too much for you, you can choose one. I hated how my life was like Bet. before, but after Dude, seeing my two oh my wives, God. I couldn't stay here. My village needed me to have more children. Both of my wives were pretty cool. My village needed wait, me wait, to have more children. Wait, wait. Both of my wives were pretty cool, <laughs> so I decided to stay married to them both. I called uh, it. Dude, how do you know? How do you know? How do you know? How do you know, bro? How did you know? You have Two to minds think a <laughs> Third wife after a few years. Bet. Today, Yo, proud what is happening? Boys. You have just a bunch of boys. What is happening? What is happening? I'm the only boy to sleep over. Oh god. <laughs> well, that was that was straight up an anime, bro. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching <laughs> this anime. <laughs> no. There you have it, guys. That's what would happen if you are the only boy in a town. You get married to three different girls and you have a bunch of kids. This was Anthony's fantasy. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Aram. <laughs> Thank you for watching Disney Channel. What? <laughs> oh my god. I just did the Disney Channel edit. <laughs> What's weird? I didn't draw what you think I drew. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm really scared. Three equals D. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe. What would you do if you were the I only one? Else, okay, dude. Anthony. Anthony, stop. You stop. Stop. Just we'll see you guys in another video. Peace out. How many whites can I pick? Oh my god.